Hey guys, Ray from Love the RV and Boat. Uh, tackling another minor repair in the RV before we uh, head south for the winter. Uh, recent video, I replaced the thermistor in the refrigerator. The refrigerator was running a little warm, and that's totally solved that problem. Getting a nice even temperature now in the in the fridge. Next is our toilet. This is a Dometic. I believe the model number is 310. It's got like a porcelain base plastic top. It's been a good toilet, worked well. I guess it's like pretty well 13 years old now, and no problems. Other than lately, it's been filling with too much water. So these things are designed with their the foot flush. You flush it, and you, when you let go, there's a valve that's supposed to close. It's supposed to let a little bit of water in, but I find it's been kind of weeping more than normal and suddenly I'll look at the bowl and there's a you know half gallon of water in there and when we're off grid that's not a good thing putting so much water in my black tank I end up filling my black tank too quickly so this is the part that's causing the issue I have a plastic valve there's an input and an output and then on the end is the the plunger so probably in there there's probably a a rubber uh, seal or something that's gotten old and hard or maybe it's got you know some uh, hard water deposits on it or something so the easiest thing is just to change it while i'm at it i'm going to install a new seal you can see the black seal in there that's actually holds water pretty good but uh, i thought while i ordered that i'd grab a new seal and put that in as well so let's we'll get down here and show you where the thing is there we go so you can see it's right back there at the water line coming in from the rv cold fresh water feed and then it goes through that valve and then it goes up that tube and up into the back of the toilet and then of course it flushes so we'll see if we can get that out by the looks of it here there's just a a couple of little uh, clips to undo and it should just pop out. Okay, turn the water off. Now let's see if we can get some of these hoses off here. That's spilling too much water on the floor. It's kind of cramped quarters here because we have a toilet room, which is nice. It's just a toilet and a room with a fan, but a little tight in here. Okay, that one's off. This one should just unscrew. should just be clips for this. Okay, so she popped right out of there. Looks pretty close. Not identical, but I think it's gonna work. Also see there's holes for screws and they did supply screws. It looks like mine never had the screws installed in it. Nice. Give you a look at the back there. There we are. So you can see there actually is a spot for uh, screws. But they never bothered to install screws in mine, but I will in mine. But looks like a pretty easy install. Okay, 
Okay. So they're nice and tight now. Gonna reinstall this. Try not to cross thread this, this thing. Inside there is a rubber washer, so don't need any plumber's tape or anything on there. Okay, looks good. Hopefully she won't leak. Well, it looks like we have success. No leaks back there. And it's not uh, overfilling the bowl. It's supposed to put a little bit more water back in there just to seal it up so that smells can't come through. But uh, not fill, half fill the bowl like it was doing sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna change out that seal next. So this one's pretty easy. It's just got an edge along there, fits right in there. It's kind of just a press fit seal. Just got to get the old one out. Get rid of the water. Should just pull off. Stuck on there a bit. Mostly it's uh, hard water deposits. There we go, yeah, you can see the, it's kind of like a salty crystal stuff. But this will give me a chance to clean that up. Took a little bit to find the edge, but I think I got her. Okay, back in business. We'll hang on to the old one as an emergency part because it still actually works. It just, like I say, it uh, kind of weeps a bit too much. And then I did get a spare seal just in case. So stay tuned for next video. I'm going to install this uh, fridge fan, interesting new fridge fan from uh, folks at Titan, Titan Fans. I've used their fans in my fridge for a while now and Try different ones. You know, usually they're the, the standard round ones that kind of look like a computer fan, but they, they're waterproof and very, very quiet and last a long time. But this is an interesting one because it's long and skinny. So it's supposed to fit right in between the rack there on the back of the outside uh, ventilation. Till next time, Ray from Lovey RV and Boat. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.